when I was coming up, it was like nobody expected Glanville to be what it is right now. Ted Ginn, football coach, but he's so much more than that. Ginn Jr. starred at Ohio State and was drafted 10th overall by the Miami Dolphins. Ted Ginn Sr., my father, my dad, shaped me into the man I am today. Like a shark. As, as football players at Glenville High School, he decided to start the Ginn Academy to try to help more young men. The mission is to create young men to be productive in the uh, collegiate sport to make it to the next level. But at my point in my career, I feel like you know it's best for me to go back to school and one of the most important things for me to do. Is You know, education got to be redefined. You understand? My career, we love, passion, and understanding. Nobody expected Glenville to be what it is right now. Nobody expected this many people to go to the NFL. The expectations in the community was low. Growing up in Cleveland, uh, I would say just like your uh, average rural neighborhood, um, pretty rough, you know, um, just with all the bad stuff around you, uh, all the bad influences. We go through the, through the neighborhood things. So I come home, the phone cut off. I come home, the lights off. Okay, now we get to our other top story tonight. A 16-year-old becomes one of the latest victims of the gun violence plaguing our city. Devontae Johnson was shot and killed right outside of Glenville High School yesterday afternoon and right now. They need direction. They need structure. I believe that's why Ted talks about the table, where we could sit down uh, and talk across the table to each other and share those things, those virtues, those morals. And then you're going to work on your brand and who you're going to be as a man. And that's what high school is. And, and, and then you got to find your way. Our mission. We will. Nobody cares about the human side, I only care about the requirement side. We have to expose you to all this stuff, man. Cause ain't nobody doing it. I'm trying to save your life, man.